Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna to do a special video that has been requested a ton by you guys on how to remove smells and odors from cars, whether it's smoke, mildew, food, you know, puke, whatever it is, I'm gonna show you guys the ideas and options you have to remove odors from your car, along with the ones that I recommend you guys try that'll work the best and more of a long-term solution versus ones that are just temporary. Now to start out, the first one we're gonna talk about today is we're just gonna talk about detailing your car. So if your car is just dirty straight up, get it cleaned, vacuum it, remove any smells or any food that's caked on places. Just clean your car top to bottom, remove any food or any dirt in the car whatsoever. So that way, one, you have a clean slate to understand where the odor is coming from, but two, there's nothing else there for an odor unless it's embedded in your carpet, which that's where we're gonna to get to in the rest of this video. Now the first thing we're gonna talk about is a rather simple thing that a lot of people probably have lying around their house and that's fabric softener sheets. You know, they come in many different smells. This one's more like a, just a spring original scent or whatever, but fabric softener sheets, you can stuff these underneath your car, underneath the seats, so that way the vents for the rear can blow it out. You can even tuck these inside your air vents a little bit to kind of make a makeshift stick air freshener. Um, this is a real quick option, but these are rather temporary. It's more of for just an immediate fix if you're blowing air out of your air vents to try to mask some of the odor, but it doesn't neutralize odor like other things do. The next option, which you guys all know and love, these are little trees, these are scented ones. Um, American flag, hoorah. Um, but yeah, these ones smell like vanilla. These things hang from your mirrors. You can stuff them anywhere as well. Um, but once again, these things do run out of odor scent rather quickly. It's one, once again, kind of a masking type of solution. Um, but they do work if you want an immediate smell, like whether it's, you know, island breeze or whatever you guys want. <laughs> The next one, this is an odor eliminator. This is, comes in a jar. I just picked these up from the store today, so I don't even know what it looks like. Um, it's more of a gel. Let's open this beast up. But it is like a, a gel type substance in there. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of like, you know, other things where it absorbs smells, it's gonna release smells and kind of dry out. Um, I bet it's kind of like the gel that you see for like in diapers, for instance. So a diaper has a medium inside of it that it soaks it up and turns it into a gel like this or um, like in a humidor for your cigars or anything like that where it absorbs moisture. This is already absorbed moisture and I'm guessing it's just gonna leak out the smell over time along with maybe trying to capture some of that odor and moisture in your car as well to eliminate it. But I'm guessing this will probably last you maybe a month or so before it kind of goes out. Um, you can set this in your cup holder underneath your seat once again, but it does, it does do the job and it's something more of a temporary quick thing that you can pick up. Next thing on the list, this is, uh, I picked these up. These are called Stealth Sticks. There's many different types of brands. The ironic part is that you guys saw in the before shots of this car, it actually already had a couple of them. This is kind of what they look like. They kind of clip on your air vent. This ones are from Refresh Your Car. I don't even know what brand it is, but they suck pretty much because once again, you might as well hang an air freshener. These ones are just more of a creative solution to allow you to just to easily stick them on. They go onto a single vent clip. Um, some cars, these might work, some might not, but they kind of open up so you can slide them on. But they're essentially just rubber that's soaked in a bunch of fragrance. So over time, they will deplete all of that smell and they'll wear out, which you can just quickly replace them. Maybe plug them on all your vents. It'll uh, make it smell really good for a very, you know, very strongly for a short period of time. And then over time, it's gonna die off. Now, the next item on our list is also more of a, not really an air freshener, but an odor, odor remover, if you will. So um, these two I'll kind of do together in tandem to kind of give you my opinion. But this one right here is just a bag of coffee. You know, pick up a cheap, cheap bag of coffee, um, whether it's Folgers, just get a big jar of it. Um, ground coffee. And then also you have baking soda. And the, the point of these would be essentially, you know, you've heard of putting coffee grounds in um, smelly areas or moisture areas that kind of have a mildew smell. Uh, coffee absor absorbs smells, it absorbs moisture. And then same goes for baking soda. You know, you see most people in their fridge, you know, they'll leave a box open like this that'll help absorb moisture and odor. What you wanna do with this is we're gonna sprinkle it all over the floor mats, all over the carpet. Same with a coffee. I would let it sit for a day or two and then just vacuum it up. And as long as your carpets are not wet, make sure they're not wet whatsoever because if they're wet, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting it all up. Sprinkle it all on, let it sit, and then just vacuum it all up in the morning. And that'll remove some of the odors and moisture that maybe is in your carpet or your floor mats to help remove those odors. Uh, the next thing is, this is from Mother's. It's an odor eliminator bomb, essentially. Um, what you do is you take one of these bad boys and there's many different brands. I mean, everybody makes these things. You can pick them up. I got all this at uh, Discount Auto Parts, so it's fairly easy to get. But what the, 
the reason what you do with these things, they come in an aerosol can like this. You're gonna take the lid off. And what you want to do is this one in particular says, start your vehicle's engine, close the window, set the ventilation system to max cold and the fan to high and on recirculation mode. And then you're gonna place this in your cup holder. You're gonna pin this down and just let it fog the entire car. And you're gonna let it sit for, this one in particular says, keep windows and doors closed for 15 minutes and leave the car immediately because you don't wanna smell this stuff in, especially as the concentrations it's at. Um, and then once you take it out of the car after 15 minutes, open all your doors and windows and let it air out for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you do have a car that has been smoked in and you have some of that lingering odor, the nice part about these is it gets into your headliner, it gets into your air vents, it gets into everywhere and kind of just fogs the entire car like a bug bomb would do in your house. Um, these things kick butt, they work, they're easy, they're simple. And the last three options we have is the first one we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna show some clips, is just extracting your carpets. Using a carpet cleaner, whether you rent one, whether you have one yourself, extract your carpets, remove any of that dirt or odor that's embedded in those carpet fibers, and cleaning your floor mats and carpet thoroughly if they're rather dirty. Um, that's a great way to eliminate odor, to eliminate odor as well, especially with some of the shampoos that have odor neutralizing properties. Um, you can pick those up at Target or anywhere else. I mean, pretty much anywhere has an odor type eliminator uh, carpet cleaning solution. And the next option, this is something that I use frequently on the end of my videos. This is a ozone generator. I picked this thing up on Amazon. I think it was probably, I don't even know if it was a hundred bucks. It might've been about a hundred bucks. Either way, the way these things work is you're going to place it in the center of the car with the windows up. The same method the bomb worked is you're gonna have the windows up, you're gonna have it on recirculation with the car on, and you're gonna set this in there for, I mean, go ahead and do 15, 20, 30 minutes. I mean, you can do it up on here to 120 minutes or leave it on indefinitely. I wouldn't recommend that. I would say probably 30 minutes is sufficient. Um, but this is going to generate ozone, which is something that you do not want to breathe in if you own one of these or have the opportunity to try one or buy one um, because ozone is toxic and it will cause your lungs to burn. It's really rather irritating. It's nasty to breathe in and you can definitely smell it when this thing turns on. Um, it's pretty instant and you know exactly what the smell is. But set this in the car on recirc mode, let it run. And then once you're done, hold your breath, pull it out of the car, roll down the windows, open the doors and just let it air out once again. But what ozone essentially does is the ozone molecule attaches to odor smells in the car, breaks them down into just oxygen and byproducts and expels them and removes them from your car. These things work really well as well. Um, it's a little bit more of a complicated solution than a bomb, but it does ensure that you break it down. And I think if you combine this with maybe an odor bomb afterwards, you have a really good solution that's maybe more permanent than anything else. Now, a side option and part of cleaning is one of these guys. This is a Wagner steam cleaner. Um, steam cleaner is one non-chemical related. It's just plain old water that's superheated. So you can spray steam everywhere. The cool thing about this stuff is, is when you use a steam cleaner, you can spray the steam into your air vents, which will neutralize and kill any viruses, bacteria, or mold. Um, you can spray your entire car with it on the inside. You can use it to clean your fabric or your carpets. Um, steam is really versatile. It is just something you need to pay attention to with not getting you know, too close. Obviously, you're gonna burn or melt something. Um, but just steam in general is a great way to neutralize any odors or remove any grime or anything caked in. Like, I did tell the car once that had milkshakes that were on the carpet or slime or just gum or candy. And when it gets stuck like that and solidified, a steam cleaner kicks butt. It literally will melt it and just allow you to wipe it up or extract it afterwards, um, making it really easy to do. So once again, just be careful, not keeping it too close, just within reason, use common sense, but steam cleaner is a good option as well.